and uh, welcome back <laughs> welcome back this is uh, an amazing show and it's an amazing moment that we are learning and knowing things about feminine greatness and we are, we are we are getting to realize which one we should go for first because most of us have been doing things that are, we are not supposed to do going after fame and the bible states clearly that if you go after fame you're going to be the slave after all and now for, from that part i think we, we are now going to understand what the bible means by being a slave hmm. after all uh, hmm. so <clears throat> welcome back if you're watching us on online it is ka television on facebook ka television youtube ka television on instagram tiktok and twitter and uh on web our website uh, it's www.ka tv.co.ke yes alafu uh, pia kama unatumia simu ingia kwa google uh, google app store download my home tv utatupata pale just register it's free of charge and then you can get your best show anytime and everywhere you are God bless you so much. Karibu sana. Welcome back, man of God. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Karibu sana, yeah, sana, 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 sana. Mm. Eh, so, mi nisha sema, mi sita kwa, sita kwa kama watu. Mm. Kabisa. Okay. I want to find my originality. Omesema, the originality comes only in Christ. True. Even Jesus himself, he was God, but he never compared himself. He never compared himself with God. Mm. And actually, every, every word he spoke, he was like, my father mm. told me, my father want me to do this my father it was all about god mm. and he, mm. he he was the best of himself in god mm. so hey mungu atusaidie mzee mm. that is so deep True. god bless you <laughs> now even as we continue i want us to, to to venture into this part of uh, what are the dangers of running for fame wow yes what are, what are you know what are these things that at the end of the day there is always something bad mm. if you go for something that is not good yes uh one, I'll begin by saying, the one I just talked about, premature fame mm -hmm. uh, comes with a lot of dangers. Because mm -hmm. one, you're not spiritually prepared, you're not emotionally prepared, mm -hmm. you're not physically prepared. Imagine when you're famous, now when you broke. So everyone thinks you have money, but you don't have money. So when they ask you for money, you cannot give them money. <laughs> Family members are seeing you on TV, you are famous. <laughs> But and they're asking you for money you cannot keep. Yeah. yeah they're seeing you with very classy clothes. Mm -hmm. They're seeing you in big posters. And, in uh, big, and big different clothes. places. You're but Kijana Fuko in Ikona Eko. Okay. You see. So you, you are there. And and you see now they will not understand that. So you are not financially even prepared mm -hmm. to handle what comes with fame. So let us go back <laughs> and understand this. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes danger the danger number one mm -hmm. of, of fame let me look at proverbs chapter 16 verse 18. Mm -hmm. this is what the bible says pride goes before destruction mm -hmm. other verses says pride goes before a fall eh? mm -hmm. and a haunty spirit before a fall mm -hmm. better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils within the proud mm -hmm. now one thing about a person who is after fame, pride is always up here. They, they are intoxicated with pride. And then the worst case scenario is put them in a place of leadership. Mm -hmm. That's when power will get into their head. And they will look down upon everybody that comes in their way. Mm -hmm. I remember there's a brother, I did a poster for him uh, for, for a meeting that he was having. And he was like, I, I cannot handle this kind of mediocrity. This is not a meeting I'm supposed to go. Do, do you know my level? Okay. You see? So I, I asked him, what is your level? <laughs> because <laughs> hey, make us understand. I, I was inviting him for a seminar mm. and he told me how many people are coming. I told him, no, we're just having 30 people. So it's just a, 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 an internal seminar. So he was like, no, I deal with hundreds and thousands. How do you invite me to this small meeting? And actually, he went ahead to recommend, I will give you my one of my boys to come on my behalf. Boys, mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, like, I was going for you. He was like, no, you know my level. I don't handle small meetings. So I was like, okay, noted, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Noted. And I noted that. <laughs> the, 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 recently, we had a very <laughs> big meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Recently we had a meeting. <laughs> Recently we had a meeting in Nakuru and uh, he, he saw the post and he was like, tag me along. 
and I told him, no, this is a small meeting, you're a big man. You handle big meetings. Ah. I, I just responded back, uh -huh. just like that. And, and, and uh, I'm, I'm betting he had seen the meeting and he was like, hey, this one is big. Mm -hmm. This one is big. Because it was being aired on two TV stations. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay, uh, you, you handle big meetings. He, he according to me, still small. Yeah, so TV so Billy. Don't mind. So pride, pride for these people who are after fame. These are the people that a pastor will not send them anywhere. There are people that a pastor will tell them, I don't want you to go to this event, sit down, and they will tell pastor, Kwani wewe ni nani. Okay. These are people who will feel it's okay to exchange words mm -hmm. with their man of mm -hmm. God. There are people who will feel it's okay to give conditions. It's good to set a standard, but it's not good to give condition to the gift of God that is operating inside of mm -hmm. you. What if God denies you that gift? You see the point? Mm -hmm. These are people who even the pastor will not send them to go and clean the toilet. And the wale wajama kwa present worship put a realize mukienda crusade is beba speaker. Achafuke na amesha amesha ngara sure. Yeah, first towel muhimu. These are the people who will want to share the same uh, you know ile maji wachungaji on the table they like I'm also a minister I need this kind of water. If you don't give them a seat up on mbele munako sana. If you don't give them a, 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 a grand innovation when they are coming in, you, you munakosana. Mm. They're like, you know who I am. You know, they don't want to deal when they go to a meeting, a visit, a vi they're visiting somewhere. They don't want to deal with any other person. They deal with the pastor directly. They don't even go through the secretary to talk to the pastor. Mm. They're like, where? I'm, I'm above you. Tell the man of God I want to see him and don't stop me. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. It's so full in them. They c and then the worst case scenario, they cannot teach someone something. Okay. They are always uh, there, they know it all, mm -hmm. but they cannot delegate, they cannot teach somebody, mm -hmm. and then they cannot be taught also. If you tell them something, they, they, they are like, I know. Yeah, you know, you know. Have you ever been invited somewhere to go and train or teach worship, mm -hmm. and a pastor has invited you, but there's a specific worship leader or a drama or an instrument who think they know it all, mm -hmm. and they will not attend that meeting. Mm -hmm. And and if they come, this one it has happened. Mm -hmm. Na kikuja mm -hmm. kuna venya naka ananza kuwaeka kwa darubini. E, Anakanga pale kwa kona. Aha, ananza, ananza kuwa observe. Anawangali atu, okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. the, the, that is how they behave, mm -hmm. and they are like, Mm, I can do better. Yeah. You know, these are people who they if they are not leading wataka pachini and all they will do is to identify mistakes. Uh -huh. When you go for a worship experience somewhere, they will come in together with other team members, but they will not worship. They'll be quiet. Come on, keyboard is an angle when you mungin and aches are off keys. An angle when you drama and a pig marols ziko off. A call as Adi Adi Munonanga Monyewa and a funny vividole and a Takaku wood and a Takaku gonka is a crash, but drama had a gonka like ah, no, no, we are duty and a fine. You see, Nile too, Nikanisa, when you ever saw a restricted how is the panda up on belly, like in Kunangino panda. Yeah, yeah, and then I think say, so they take it and then they distract the flow because they were not even there. And then they are, you know, there are so many issues that are related to pride that you cannot even conclude. Or they hand over the microphone for you to sing. You sing a song at Jamalizu, I don't know who you are. Actually, some of them say it louder. Yeah, Miss Kufil, and I'm sure my Miss Kufil, that is pride. Yeah, Kimba. Anona, yeah. Hadi ana lia na toa makamasi ana. If if they minister, if they minister that day and people don't celebrate them, that's a problem. They they want those shouts. One or two ame. Hey, and then I can talk up and I will listen. His service is like what? Unona, alafu. Yeah. Let me give you an, a, a scenario. Was this time we were somewhere, yeah. um, and uh, the, the, the people who were supposed to minister with us, well, God, we kubwa kubwa kidogo. We we Solomon Mkubwa, and our kina pastor Tumaini. I wonder what was going And before that, there was this brother of ours. Akakuja, aka, okay, like he budged in. Mm. He was not on the, you know, hakwa mazoezi, mm. and he was not part of it, but somehow what one am doing. Mm. And he feels himself. So he came and was like, ah, uh, mina, mina, nataka ku, kupiga sifa apa saizi. Mm. Akachukua. So he was singing and people are looking at him. Uh, actually, the reaction was very dull. He stopped the whole thing and he was like, kwani mumetoka kwenu na masira muna nilete hapa. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Hey. How do you help such kind of a brother? <laughs> no, that's what you're talking about. That, mm. That's pride. Mm. And, and the beauty, you don't help them. Mm-hmm. God has a way of humbling them. God has a way. The book of 1 Samuel, I'm going to, to, to look at that. The book of 1 Samuel, mm. chapter 15 and verse 17. Mm. Allow me to read that as, as I answer you. Chapter 15 and verse 17. That is the book <laughs> of Samuel uh, 15, 17. Mm. This is what the Bible says. So Samuel uh, said, when you were little in your own eyes, were you not head of the tribes of Israel? And did not the Lord anoint you king of Israel? Now the Lord sent you on a mission and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners and Amalekites and fight against them until they are consumed. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Why did you swoop down on the spoil mm-hmm. and do evil in the sight of the Lord? Here's the thing. God has a way of humbling every proud heart. Uh-huh. This is what will happen. Saul had it rough. Imagine your successor being appointed and you're still alive. Anointed, you're still alive. Mm-hmm. Your success is anointed. And then you invite him, he comes, plays, he's the one who plays the instruments, and then you get calm. Mm-hmm. Demons are running out. This is the person who saw his successor kill Goliath in front of every Israelite mm-hmm. and actually gave him his daughter. Mm-hmm. That's being humble. Yeah. <laughs> Because if you ask me, for some reason, <laughs> Saul agreed for David to go and, and fight Goliath because he knew. Yeah, and, uh, we are men. Uh, we are men. Uh, so the reason he agreed actually very fast mm-hmm. was, uh, this is my successor, so let him die. Mm-hmm. He didn't expect David to win that war. So this is the person who actually, have, when they are coming from the war, people are saying, women are dancing yeah. and they're saying, Samuel, uh, Saul has killed thousands. David has killed tens of thousands. How do you feel as a king? Mm-hmm. Because your kingdom is being taken over and you're still alive. So God has You a see way. it happening. You see it happening. And that's what God does. So if this kind of brother exists in the worship team and those people are proud, mm-hmm. this is what God does. He actually brings your successor. By the Najwana watch. God brings your successor. <laughs> And he will bring someone that you least expect. Mm -hmm. I remember we had one of the leaders in our team who was very proud. Mm -hmm. And what God did, God brought in a very young girl from nowhere. Even the pastor bows himself down Mm -hmm. to listen to this voice. Because the girl was simple. She was from village. She didn't have clothes, uh-huh. very good clothes. Alwangalazile marinda za kitambo. She is a sport sport. And then she had just rubber seeds a kawaida. But there was this worship leader was makeup was everything. Hey, we, closet we, even, yeah. Ni, ni, ni dynasty. Uh-huh. You know, remember, oh God, uh-huh. you know, those ones. But who you, who you, who you, ni, she was actually a house girl. Okay. She was a house girl. Okay. And this lady, she sang. And actually, <laughs> she was appointed one of the leaders, and she transformed that team. Mm-hmm. This this other worship leader, because of shame, he had to exist, exit the team. And actually, okay. So God has a way of humbling every proud person. So number one, fame, premature fame brings pride. Mm-hmm. pride. Mm-hmm. Number two, premature fame distracts you from God's assignment. Mm-hmm. Because you are now focusing on yourself, and you are not focusing on God. On God yeah. And the minute you focus on yourself, God actually takes you out. Mm-hmm. Because God wants the glory. Yeah. You can never share the glory with him. No. So this is what God does. Okay, you are making it about you. Then why don't you go ahead and do it about yourself? <laughs> so God actually gets his, his hand over mm-hmm. you, out of you. Mm-hmm. And he actually now focuses on the people that are after him. And what happens? That's when you come back to God. And the God is merciful. He will mm-hmm. forgive you anyway. But what have you gone through? The consequences that you have gone through. So it can distract you from God. You start looking looking at building your name instead of building the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I said here last time, focus on the kingdom of God and let God focus on your kingdom. Uh Because the minute you focus on the affairs of God, God is not a man that he should lie. He will focus on your affairs. So wait, we are supposed to focus on the affairs of God. Building the name of God. So that God can focus on us. Yes. Uh This is how it applies. Uh Uh Focus on God. Making God happy, building the kingdom of God, 
Now God and I are Uliza. This person wants to build my kingdom. Mm. What an impati a bigger audience. No. What an impati a bigger connection so that he can continue doing what he's doing better. What an impati a destiny connector. What an imbariki na finances. Mm. Let me give him a good wife. Mm -hmm. You see, that will give him peace. So that he can focus on my kingdom. Mm -hmm. Let me ensure he has good children. Let me ensure that he has all the resources he needs. I'm seeing him is going for ministries and working and doing this, but he's struggling. Let me give him a car. How did God give Adam a wife? He told Adam, and I'm not talking about a wife and a husband here. Mm -hmm. he, he looked at Adam and he said, I think it's not good for man to be alone. Mm -hmm. Because he's focusing on this all assignment and he's weighing him down. Let me get him a helper. That's what God says. Mm -hmm. I think it's not good for Felix to walk on foot. Uh -huh. Let me get him a car. Uh, please get it for me, God, now. Yeah. Huh? That will help. <laughs> yes. And you see, God cannot give you what you want. He'll give you what you need. <laughs> Maybe you don't need a car right now. <laughs> And so he says, until you are humble mm -hmm. enough, he will not give you this. Mm -hmm. So let's bring the character and the traits of the Holy Spirit in, in us, mm -hmm. and then God will lift us. I think I think this one is going direct to some of us I'm about to not after audience on our own. Mm. Uh, we have been forcing, Mimi, Mimi have forced myself to be in Congo, Tanzania, uh, Ethiopia, mm. forcing. I'm saying forcing. This one is a testimony. Mm. I've forced myself to do that. Uh -huh. Like, I want to be there, mm -hmm. you see. And at the end of the day, I couldn't get your money in Ataka Uko. And if I compare with a very small audience that, mm. that I go, mm. maybe a hundred people less, the impact is very different. Mm. Very different. Nenda Congo na Rudi, nothing. So, what, uh, I'll ask you in a layman's mm. language. Is there meetings that you in Congo? What do you have to show for Akuna. right now? Akuna. How many souls did you impact? Uh, I want to go. Actually, I want, me personally, it was out of fame, mm -hmm. and I wanted fame. I told you there was some, some uh, there was a time I wanted fame, like really fame, mm? mm -hmm. to a point like I had to fix myself. Mm -hmm. Band director, fix me ama tukosane. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Wewe, nita kusema vibaya huku inje. Simple. So he had to fix me. Uh, sometimes you pay. Oh my friend, mm. God has really helped you. He has really worked on you. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us continue. Mungu's <laughs> idea what work is. But this is what I'll say. Mm. Allow God to announce you. Because God never gathers his people in vain. Mm -hmm. It is God who will gather people. You know when, when, when I, I try today to take myself to Kisum to have a meeting, mm -hmm. people will not be gathered. I can never ga you can never gather people. Okay. Look at what politicians do. They, they force themselves to people, they get elected, mm -hmm. but what are the results? They focus on themselves. That's what our politicians yeah. do. They campaign. People elect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They lie to people. Mm -hmm. They get elected. You're lying to a man of God. When you eat a buana, you grace your God in operation. You Lungwanda. I love when you say, My Lord, I God and I'm going to character development. Mm -hmm. You see, and, 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 and we, we, let's come to a place where allow God to announce you, allow God to groom you, mm -hmm. allow God to bring you to the people. Let, let God, you see, the way Eve was done, eh? Eve was prepared when Adam is asleep. Mm -hmm. She was molded very well and she was presented to Adam. Uh -huh. Now, when Adam saw Eve, what did Adam say? Now, this is the bone of my bones. Mm -hmm. Now, allow God to prepare you in the absence of people when they are asleep and they are not seen. Now, when the time comes, they will look at you and they say, Now, this is the voice you've been waiting for. Oh, yes. You get hey, uh, This is the man. She did go up on your process, you have to wait. That's the problem with our worship. We don't wait. That's the problem with the music ministers. Mm -hmm. We don't want to wait. Because you have done live live recording, I'm going to do one. Because you have opened a studio, I'm going to open one. Because now you are doing a uh, indoor production, I'm no, going to I do have one. To. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with us? What if all these artists you could have just had one studio where we are all going to do our, our recording? <laughs> See Africa. <laughs> so, Mungina make a studio back or bedroom. 
<laughs> and you're doing a substandard thing in the name of you you don't want to go to someone's uh, studio. But... What, what is wrong with that? <laughs> Uh, premature fame brings burns and jealousy mm-hmm. and that's why utapata if you are not performing your studio is not growing you're mm-hmm. not having people unaanza kusema umerogwa ujarogwa it was premature announcement mm-hmm. of the victory of god when god is introducing you to the people he will introduce at the right time he will make sure the right resources are available everything is available but when you bring yourself utangangana and then it will not work and then the devil is also fighting you mm-hmm. and bringing you counterfeit at the end of the day you burn out and then you walk away from the church mm-hmm. you're like ah mungu are you corin and then you start doing for, you get, start going for alternative mm-hmm. and that's how the enemy does mm-hmm. you see the enemy gives you a, 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 a glimpse of fame yeah when he gives you a, a glimpse of fame he says just bow before me mm-hmm. and i will make all these things happen and you agree so when he brings that fame on your part mm-hmm. what happens mm-hmm. you move away from the glory of god And you see the things of the devil are very temporary mm-hmm. so he gives you kidogo alafu anazitoa aha Unabaki dry. They, they end permanently like what God does. They like what God does. Mm-hmm. And then you start crying back to God like you all niacha. Now come back to me so that I can help you that are fresh. Yeah, that's what God does. So mm-hmm. it brings burnout, it brings uh jealousy. You you start now hating people. You start now being bitter to people like mbona ni Felix anachagulwanga tu kila siku kuimba. No, there is something Felix is doing that you're not doing mm-hmm. and God has decided it to be that mm-hmm. way because also umeamua kwenda na njia yako. And God is very gracious. He lives you. So people who are famous in this in this generation. Mm. This is my take. Please allow God to introduce you, allow God to mold you. Mm. Please go through the will if it's going to take you to go through the wilderness. Please go. Mm-hmm. If to, it will take you to go through the valley of the shadow of death, please go. If it will cost you to be in the miry clay, uko mm-hmm. chini, please go. The funny thing is there's always a word after that. Yeah. In out of the wilderness the Lord called. Mm-hmm. Out of the miry of clay I lifted up my yeah. hand and the Lord held my mm-hmm. hand. It, though I walk into the valley of the shadow of death, he is always with me there. That's our God. You see. Mm-hmm. So allow yourself it is going to if it's going to cost you to do away with those invitations please let them go mm-hmm. me i told god one thing I, i want you to make me great in my generation but i don't want you to make me great i want to take me through the process mm-hmm. whatever it takes mm-hmm. if i'm going to go through the wilderness please take me there take and me let there. your grace go with me mm-hmm. because the grace of god is always there yeah. it will always carry you mm-hmm. it will always take you mm-hmm. out of in, in into the process mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. so allow yourself to go through that wilderness my brother if it's going to cost you to say no to invitations please say no to invitations <laughs> if it's going to cost you to say no i'm not coming to this meeting don't put my name on the post uh-huh. please do it if it's going to cost you to get out of tv and out of media to stay behind the scene do it uh-huh. Apo, because when the time comes apo kwa kukata meetings mm. apo kwa kusema usiniege kwa poster mm. hey kama itakukost hiyo mm. baasha unaposa thank you man of god mm. but i like this this envelope to go back to the present worship team for the work they have done okay. please let it go that way okay which is very hard my brother <laughs> i'm trying to understand <laughs> And may, may the lord god help us mm. now i know i know uh, uh, to kimalizia mm. Even as you talk about uh, the, the you know the spiritual uh, you know the, the, the loss of essence of worship mm. because the moment you bec- you become focused on on fame mm-hmm. the the essence of worship itself goes away you know the, you you it's like unatoka kwa reli unaanza kukimbilia kwa msitu you are out of the way mm-hmm. now uh, tukimalizia nataka you talk about that one ukitupea remarks mm. Mm. The, the, the essence you know <coughs> how do we get back Mm. How do we get back? Okay. Because every time we are focusing on 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 uh, in a fame, mm. we are running out of the way of worship. Yes. It, its you. originality mm. is is gone. Mm. How do we get back? The best worshipper in this generation is a worshipper that has prioritized humility. Mm-hmm. Just James 14. Mm-hmm. The worshipper that has prioritized humility in their life mm-hmm. and is a worshipper that knows that all gifts come from God. Yeah. It is nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. You didn't go to school. I I saw a, po- a, a comment in one of our WhatsApp uh, or none of our Facebook posts and someone says this is my gift I worked so hard for it so I must be paid for it. Mm-hmm. It is not your gift. It's God's gift. 
it has nothing to do with you because okay. it's God who allowed you to get that money mm -hmm. to go to school. Mm -hmm. It's God who provided that school. Mm -hmm. It's God who made sure that teacher is healthy mm -hmm. and and you have favor with him. It's God who gave you that brain for you to understand what you're being taught. So it's not your gift. It's, not my it's gift. God's mm -hmm. gift. And it has to go back to God's kingdom yeah, sure. and to do God's business. So you have to understand that, that it's God's gift. It has to do God's business. And then... <clears throat> You have to be a servant mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You must embrace servanthood mm -hmm. in everything you do. Look at your neighbor as more better than you. Yes. That's how you grow. That's how you become better. Now focus on building others. Focus on building the kingdom of God. That's how we attain greatness. Mm -hmm. Let us not chase about uh, after fame. Mm -hmm. Fame is one of the blessings that the Bible says, and the blessing shall follow you. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. because God will grant you favor before him and before men mm -hmm. when you go after him. Favor is fame in its own. Mm -hmm. God will mold you and make sure people know you, mm -hmm. people know what you're doing mm -hmm. in the name of you are serving the kingdom of God. Yeah. So as a worship leader and as a man of God or a woman of God, chase mm -hmm. after God, chase after greatness. Fame and blessing will chase after you. Oh, yes. Yes. God bless you so much, man Amen. of God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you for the enlightenment. And all of us who are, who are watching and following together with us, God bless you so much for staying tuned in. Uh, there is a number on the screen. You can talk to us. And also those who are watching on Facebook, it's KA Television. On Facebook, on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and TikTok, it's KA Television. Follow us up and you'll see we have a very interesting, informative, educated programs that will help us and build us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for staying tuned in. Thank you, man of God, for being here. Thank you so much. We bless the Lord. I'm so happy that you are here with us. Every Amen. every time we call you, come. Amen. God bless you. Mm. And uh, thank you for being there, number one fan, for following us, sharing and even commenting. God bless you so much. Now, can you give us your social handles? Yes, uh, we are located in Nairobi mm -hmm. and across the world. Mm -hmm. We are meeting on our WhatsApp for daily discussions mm -hmm. and training on worship so if you're a worship leader and you're interested please call us on uh, 0702551891 we'll be there or go to at global worship leaders forum mm -hmm. uh, we are always there online our admins will respond to you it's free of charge joining we also have a class in the school i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about it at yeah please, please. <coughs> yes and, just, just for today just for today. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a class that we are doing for worship leaders, so you can register for our class. We are training about altar ministry, ministry ethics, music dynamics, and vocal trainings. So you can be part of it, and God will bless you. Amen. Our class are beginning this February. Mm -hmm by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Our number is 0714-596-888. And God bless you even as you uh, continue with us. Let us pray. Mm. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you and we worship your holy name. Thank you, Father, for, inside, uh, for, for, for enlightening us, O oh Jehovah. Thank you for instilling knowledge and understanding in us, Jehovah Father. Wherever we've been doing wrong, O oh God, I pray that you may redirect, O oh Jehovah, our thoughts, redirect our mind, redirect our heart back to you, O King of our glory, that we may focus only on you, and that everything that we need, we may ask from you, O Jehovah Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and God bless you. My name, Felix Wesonga. God bless you.